All right, so this is transaction VA03, uh, which displays a standard order. And let's say now I find an error, either the data is uh, incorrect or something doesn't work. So I want to submit a ticket. I just double click on the SAP logo, allow the program to take a screenshot. And then uh, the main screen appears. I can enter a subject and long text. Uh, and I will quickly open this in HP Service Manager. So now let's explain how fields are populated. So first of all, the SAP user um, is populated uh, based on either Active Directory integration or uh, based on email address. So either the email address should match uh, the value in Service Manager and, uh, in SAP or the username. Uh, if none of these apply for your organization, then you can still maintain an explicit mapping in a customizing table in SAP. Um, here we have the primary affected service and the affected configuration item. So um, this uh, is populated from SAP. Let me jump into uh, the system. This one. So here we go uh, in the configuration. You can see that we have many different configurations. Uh, this is the one that we've just tested, the HP Service Manager. And then you can assign uh, the SAP systems to this configuration. And for each system, you can define custom field values. So for this one from which we've created the incident, uh, you can set up any field value combinations uh, as fixed values. So this is the affected uh, CI and the primary affected service. Actually, for another system, this might be different. So let's jump back to uh, the incident and check out what, what else we have. So here we have the category, subcategory, area, and assignment group set. Let's uh, check out the first three and actually additionally the source, which is sent from SAP. So going back to this configuration screen, um, here we have a field uh, where you can enter a, a, JSON format uh, input, which will be added to the incident creation web service request. But of course, if it's too long, then you can create a standard text for that. So that's what I'll show you now uh, in SO10. So here you can add again as many values as you wish. This will be set for every incident that is created through uh, our add on. So here you can see the category, company, area, sub area, and source. So as you can see, um, you can set a lot of fields uh, without any uh, custom development. You only need to maintain some customizing transactions in SAP.